We have two new programs that we're adding um, this next month. One is called Cardiac Fit. It is a phase three and four cardiac rehab program. And the second one is called Delay the Disease. It is a group exercise program for people with Parkinson's syndrome. And it's gonna be starting September the 12th. Um, it's a group fitness class for those with Parkinson's disease, um, any fitness level. So the nice thing is that people are finding that um, with Parkinson's disease, the more that you exercise, the more that you are able to control your symptoms, whether it's your tremors, you're getting stuck going in and out of doors and out of cars, you can exercise and actually progress beyond that. You know, nationwide they're finding that the more you strength train, people don't have the tremors, so they're able to write better and get around and move better. I'm founded in Columbus, um, it's Ohio Health's Delay the Disease program, and they've been um, training people nationwide now to participate in the program. So you end up in have a seminar that you get to go to. It's two days, both classwork and um, working with clients. They actually brought in some local participants that have Parkinson's so we could see the difference in levels of it. You get to work with them, show them the exercises, learn the exercises that work the best for, for them. Um, you get books with strategies on implementing the program and se um, steps that you would go through each class and getting them stretched out, working on maybe today you're going to work on getting in and out of a car, maybe next week you're going to work on getting in and out of a bed, um, so you can partner with that every um, each class and working a different function for them. And then we are actually kind of trying to partner with UTMC, they have a delayed disease program going currently, but it's only one day a week and a lot of their members were asking for twice a week. They, aren't, uh, they don't have the space for it, um, so they asked us to partner with them so that they, the clients can come twice a week. Um, for even more benefits for them. And then as a result, they are going to actually send some of their um, physical therapy students that are getting their doctorate of physical therapy over to help as volunteers and assist the clients as they come in. It's fairly unique um, to us. Um, as far as the cardiac fit, most people that um, go through cardiac rehab, phase one in, is in a hospital, phase two at a facility or in a hospital. They are discharged from those programs and usually go out to their local Y, um, a local fitness facility without any more supervision. And some of them, when they're out there, they need a little bit more um, medical supervision in case something should occur, that they have a little bit of um, you know, chest pain, something like that, and someone to coordinate their program. And right now there are no other facili facilities offering the um, cardiac phase three and four.